Telecom now, the regulator, it seems, has now come up with some guidelines for the 800 megahertz band. Uh, why are they significant, Sunanda? Okay, so, so what essentially TRI has done over the weekend is that it's come out with a pricing guideline as far as the 800 megahertz spectrum goes on the back of, you know, the 900 megahertz and the 1,800 megahertz spectrum that we saw, which has closed out recently. And it mm. is saying that it wants to, it, these are essentially recommendations from TRI, that it wants those to be priced at 48% higher than uh, February 2013 when the last round of uh, auctions happened and it wants to get about 27 billion rupees versus 18.2 billion which it saw uh, last year. Mm. Now why is this significant? Now 800 megahertz is typically used by companies like say Systema, Reliance, mm. uh, Communications as well as a Tata Tally mm. but what is going to be, uh, what is going to happen now is that more companies are going to use that to really roll out 4G services. Mm. Therefore, Tri is saying that there's no question really of pricing mm. uh, the 800 megahertz lower than the 1800 megahertz in fact we understand that is almost 52 percent higher that is the recommendation coming in uh, from try there's no date which is being set uh, for the 800 megahertz spectrum we understand mm -hmm. analysts however are saying that the government is not going to get any interest really uh, f if it's going to price it higher mm -hmm. uh, than the 1800 megahertz and it's saying that the government wants to get any interest it has to be lower sure. than uh, uh, the, the present valuations it's seen